Hello guys, today we're, today we're talking about something that Smash Brothers has been missing for free games. No, it's not Waluigi. No, it's not anything else. Smash Ultimate has 800 variety songs. But there's one game series that has absolutely no representation, even though it's a sub-series of... The franchise. Today we will be talking about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yes, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon has absolutely no representation in Smash Brothers. Yes, absolutely none. Smash like Smash Bros. Ball. You look at the soundtrack, you did you see nothing with Mystery Dungeon. Nothing at all. But again, Mystery Dungeon just came out in 2006, so they probably didn't have enough time to make anything, anything with Mystery Dungeon. But then we go to the Wii U version, absolutely, absolutely nothing whatsoever. It's like they truly just don't want to put anything with Mystery Dungeon and just want to forget the series even existed. Like, Mystery Dungeon has so many tracks that would fit in with Smash Bros. There's, there's so many, like... You have some of the more unfitting songs for battles, but then you have like ten, five to ten songs that would fit greatly from Misty Dungeon for Smash Brothers. But we do get some songs that are just idol themes. Smash Ultimate is just missing Misty Dungeon content in general. But what songs would be instead of complaining and saying, oh, Misty Dungeon should be included in Smash Brothers? What songs would actually be good for Mystery Dungeon to be in Smash Brothers? Mystery Dungeon has a lot of soundtracks that I'm not going for every single game. But I'm going to go for the ones I like the most. Chasm Cave. Chasm Cave is one of the more intimidating songs in all of Mystery Dungeon. Um, easily one of the more intimidating songs in Mystery Dungeon as a series. And it would be cool if we actually could would see this, but we do have free themes from Pokemon Red and Blue for Melee, Ball, and N64. <laughs> we have the um, theme for Route 10 and Route 23 from Pokemon Black and White and Pokemon Black and White 2. But we, it, I know the Pokemon, po all the Pokemon songs are from the main series. As, but I have a, e and. But next song, the one, the boss theme, the way, the theme that plays when you fight the Alga, that would be a perfect song to play during the battles in Pokemon and Smash Bros. So we have the Primal Dialga theme, the Time Primal Dialga Time theme. I forgot what it's called. Then we have Tiny Woods, the first theme in po Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Battle with a legendary Pokemon, the first Mystery Dungeon, and then we have What was that place called? Buried Relic. It has like one of the and of course Sky Tower easily like one of the best themes in history and then Temple Tower and Temple Pinnacle or whatever it is, Temple Spire or something the middle of Temple Tower. It's just a sad that they're missing out on such a great soundtrack to be featured in Smash Bros. at all. Like, we have, like, Kirby. Kirby has songs from Kirby Allied. But Pokemon does not even have the spin-offs represented. Pokemon Rumble also has some cool songs that would be good be, that would be good for battling other people in Smash Ultimate. But I guess the be best we can do is resort to modding these songs in. If we really want to play with these, use these songs in Smash Bros. Which is the same because some of these songs, like... From the Mystery Dungeon games and Pokemon Rumble and Pokemon Coliseum and XE Gales of Darkness will be pushed to the side for only the main series games because that's how Nintendo is and we can't but at least it's still better than Final Fantasy where they only have two songs per from an entire franchise of 10 to 40 or at least 100 games they only could only pick two songs from one game even Pikmin even Pikmin has more has more more representation with all the games 
than Pokemon. Pokemon does has the main series. Hey Pikmin is a spin-off, but yet has more representation than uh, than the Pokemon spin-offs. Like if you look at everything else, Tamodachi Wife even has representation. But Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Pokemon Wumble and Pokemon spin-offs have absolutely no representation in Smash Bros. at all. <coughs> oh yeah, here's another song that will be good in um Smash Brothers. It, it's just uh, Okay, so there's a song from Murphy called like Cyborg or whatever it was called. Ultimate Cy Cyborg or something. Okay, so Ultimate... What is it? Cyborg Mother Free. Ultimate Killer Cyborg? Natural Killer Cyborg. That song should be... I'm surprised they have not implemented that song into Smash Brothers at all. <laughs> like, that's easily, like, the most epic song in Game Boy Advance history, but... We, that, that song's not even in Smash Bros. at all. But we do have Human League of a Little Dog, which is a song from the first Earthbound game, but we don't have easily the best song in Mother Free, not even in the game. Star Fox, or at least Star Fox has not. Star Fox has more. Like, you, like there's a bias here in Smash Bros. obviously towards Kirby, and definitely Mario will. Mario has like hundred songs. What like Mario has even songs from Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. But hopefully Nintendo uh, recognizes the spin-offs and puts some of the spin-offs for Pokemon as part of the soundtracks. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And Maybe more people, hopefully if Nintendo will request music, I will request most of the Pokemon Mystery Dozen soundtrack, because it's misunderstood at all. At least the best ones, like the Argus Fight to the Finish and Chasm Cave and Sky Tower and Temple, Pen Temple Spiral Pinnacle. I forgot what it's called. It's Temple Pinnacle where you fight Final Dioga. Or is it the middle part? Well, of course, in the comments, put that in the mid in there as well. And goodbye.